Joe is an old engine. A veteran of his class, he is a saddle tank engine and usually shunts. An old and kind engine, he is wise enough to make the other engines stutter and be surprised in his presence. He's made friends with a new diesel, Stephen. Stephen is a kind-hearted diesel and does not approve of scrapping or, in, or threatening the steam engines in his area. One day, both engines were talking at the station when they heard a, la a loud toot. Uh-oh, get ready, said Stephen. It was finished. Come along now, little tank engine, he said impressively. Joe scowled at the tender of the big engine. I'll show him one day how to have some respect, he, he whispered. He then coupled up to the coaches and then brought them backwards. There you go, Mr. Important, he said angrily. Why, thank you, said Finch. Just make sure you shunt them properly next time. I'll shunt you properly, said Joe angrily. What was that little shunter? said Finch. Nothing, said Joe angrily. Mr. Important, eh? thought Stephen. Well, once he has an accident, he won't be so important. Soon, Finch was ready to part with the express. <coughs> I wish I could pull the express one day, said Joe. Eh? Hey, you never know, said Stephen. You might get that chance. A few days later, Joe was shunting Finch's express coaches when he heard a loud whistle. Make sure you shunt my carefully properly, said Finch as he rocketed by. This made Joe furious. And with a sudden bump, he, he thrust the coaches forwards. Ouch! said the coaches. That hurt! Joe had re realised what he had done. He felt extremely shocked and sorry. The manager came to see him in his jeep. What's wrong with you, Joe? You haven't been acting like this, have you? Sir, I have to admit it, I have been. I've been a very naughty engine. But it's not my fault. I see. Well, Joe, tell me who's really annoyed you. It's Finch, sir. He's been treating me with disrespect. I'm the oldest and wisest engine here. I have a kind heart. What have I ever done to him? The next morning, Joe had just pulled in with some coaches when the manager arrived. He spoke severely to Finch. Finch, I'm taking you off the express routine today. What? squawked Finch. Why is that, sir? Because, said the manager, I need you to help in the yards. Shunting duties would be fine for you. Sh sh shunting duties? cried Finch. But, sir, I am an express engine. You're not today. Joey's. Finch was in dif disbelief. Joe was in disbelief as well, but chuckled a bit. <laughs> Looks like my chance has come, he said. After Finch had gone, the passengers boarded the express, the, s the guard blew his whistle, and Joe gave a fateful toot, and then sped off. It was hard work, but Joe effortlessly, effortlessly pulled and pushed the coaches up and down hills, through the and all the way to the <sighs> Joe was exhausted, but pleased with himself. <sighs> I did it. I pulled the express. <sighs> oh. Oh, I can't believe it. His driver was very pleased. Well done, Joe, he said. I knew you could do it. 
and so did the manager. The manager pulled up in his jeep next to the station. He stood at the side of Joe and congratulated him. Well done Joe, said the manager. I'm very pleased with you. Finch has apologised to both me and you. And he won't tease you or disrespect you again. You are a very fine shunter and express train as well. I think you should do this more often. Oh yes please sir, said Joe, but who's going to do my shunting duties? I think Stephen and Finch will make a lovely dream team. <sighs> Let's just hope that Finch learns his lesson.